I'm just trying to help you. <laughs> Don't show your boobs on camera. <laughs> So today I'm going to be making a giant raindrop cake. It's really cool. It's this clear looking cake. Although I don't really know why they call it a cake because it looks more like jello to me. We've actually made a couple on our page Tasty Japan because raindrop cake was invented in Japan. It's usually served with a roasted soybean flour and black syrup. I've never even made a regular size raindrop cake before, but there's only a couple of ingredients that actually go into it. So I feel like I can make a giant one. Okay. Uh, this is too watery. F this fing cake. F I don't know. Like, I don't know this cake. All right. Let's make it rain. <laughs> so, before I even try to make a giant raindrop cake, I feel like I should start small, make a regular size raindrop cake. Let's see what happens. So, raindrop cake really only takes three main ingredients, water, sugar, and this thing called agar agar. It's actually made from algae or sea kelp. You can buy agar agar in most like health food stores. You can order it on Amazon or go to like any Asian market. So it's not that hard to find. I need to bring that to a boil on high heat. Now that we're at a boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and we're gonna cook that for two more minutes. Two minutes, two minutes, we gotta wait for two minutes. This may be the easiest one we've done yet. Although we haven't really done anything yet, so maybe I shouldn't be saying anything. I'm already like a little tiny bit concerned just because I feel like this isn't completely clear. It's a little more opaque and that will be a problem. <laughs> Where's our ice? <laughs> I just need to get this out of here. So now we put the pan in the ice bath. And we're gonna leave it in there for three minutes. Whoa, it's thick. This doesn't seem right. Where's Rie? Rie? Tell me what you're doing and tell me what you are going to do with this. <laughs> if I knew, why would I ask you over? So it has to be a problem with the agar because there's only three ingredients in this. Sugar, water, and agar. I did see that there were two kinds, so mm -hmm. there's powder and flakes. Yeah. I could only find the flakes, so that's what I bought. I think you might need to use powder, but they work differently. Plop. Okay, so here is my experiment. I'm going to try to grind up this agar into a powder from the flakes version. <laughs> it didn't do anything. <laughs> there's still flakes. I think we gotta go get the powder. Okay, so we're taking a little field trip to the Japanese market to go find some agar powder because the flakes just aren't cutting it. I don't know where I'm going. So they were at a stock. I guess a lot of people are making raindrop cakes today, but uh, I'm gonna try to go to a different Japanese market. They're out of stock too. It's not that hard to find. Okay, we finally have the agar agar powder. It took me three stores to find this, so I really hope that it works. I'm ready for some rain. It's been a dry summer. <laughs> so this time I'm also gonna use bottled spring water. The tap water kind of tasted too metallic, and also this should give us a pure raindrop. I'm just gonna do two tablespoons of the agar powder we have, and hopefully it works this time. I'm just gonna pour it into this bowl and put it in the fridge to cool. It looks clearer than last time, but I'm curious to see what it looks like once it's set. How did that happen? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it looks like a breast implant. I do much prefer the taste of it with the bottled spring water than the tap water. Consistency, I'm gonna give myself about an eight. Clarity, three. Hi. It's day two. I feel like I've identified a few of the factors that have been going wrong. So I'm gonna try to remedy those today. I'm going to blend up the sugar to make it more of like a baker's fine sugar, which will make it easier to dissolve in the hot water. They sell agar agar in a few forms. I've learned I'm gonna use the pure powder 
with nothing added to it. This is gonna make it much easier to measure out properly and it should also dissolve easier into water. I used two tablespoons of agar agar last time and that was way too much. Like you only need an eighth of a teaspoon per cup of water. I don't know how I was so off, but uh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna let that come to a simmer and then I'm gonna add in our fine baker sugar. I guess technically every raindrop cake is a giant raindrop cake because raindrops are tiny. I'm feeling confident about this one. It looks really clear. I'm just gonna pour this in here. Oops, pull in a little bit. We're gonna put this in the fridge. Just so I don't waste an hour of my day, <laughs> I'm actually gonna just make another one and change up the ratio just to see what that does. So instead of an eighth of a teaspoon, I'm gonna try to use a fourth of a teaspoon. Whoa, okay. So this is the fourth of a teaspoon of agar agar. Definitely clearer than yesterday. Still not completely transparent, but it's not quite the sensation of like a raindrop bursting. If this one doesn't work, then I'm going to be <laughs> crying my own raindrops <laughs> from my eyes. <laughs> okay. As crazy as it sounds, I do think we're closer. <laughs> I need to fall somewhere in between these two. Hopefully, fourth time is the charm. This time I'm gonna do the same exact method, but just with a quarter teaspoon of agar agar and one and a half cups water. Hopefully this is the sweet spot. One hour. Stuck a little. Oh. Okay. It just got really stuck onto the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, I feel like it's raindroppy. I just gotta figure out how to keep it in a raindrop shape. <laughs> Should I just try to do the giant one? Sometimes in life, you just gotta go for things. Also, I just wanna be done with this. So I bought this metal cake bowl. Because it has no line at the bottom, I felt it would be like the perfect mold. I'm already anticipating that I'm gonna have to tweak the amount of agar to water for the giant one, just because it's gonna need to be a little bit stronger to hold its shape. So now I just have to figure out how much water this actually is. So I'm gonna pour it back into our measuring cup. Oh, okay, that was full. So let's just make this an even eight cups. Eight cups divided by one and a quarter cups is... <laughs> Anybody? So I'm doing two teaspoons of our agar agar and four teaspoons of our fine baker sugar. So because this bowl doesn't have a bottom edge, I'm putting it in this bowl to stabilize it when I pour in the mixture. Should I put in a flour or two? We're gonna make a little bouquet at the bottom. Wow, I wonder if this is gonna work. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, they just move. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to make them sit at the bottom. So the flowers not only don't stay at the bottom, they've colored my raindrop to a weird swamp green. <laughs> I don't know about this. Hopefully I did my math correctly. Probably didn't. I heard it. <laughs> Dang it. It literally dyed the bowl. <laughs> so it's day three. Hopefully third time is the charm. So this was the giant bowl we used. I went out and got two smaller sizes because I feel as though this was just a little too big. And also it's still technically a giant raindrop cake, so I'm not cheating. I've realized we really need to compensate for the giant size of this and it will just take a little more agar than a normal size raindrop cake would. So I guess we'll just start boiling. You know the drill. <laughs> So I tried to dissolve this as much as possible, but I'm still gonna strain it just as an added measure of precaution to make sure we don't have any floaters in our raindrop. It is set, <laughs> probably a little too set. It's not flipping. Ugh, I'm so over this. Rie did tell me to do some trick that like works with unmolding, and that is to spin. Let's see if <laughs> that worked. Yay! You've lied to me. I'm really dizzy, oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> All right, it's day four. I specifically wore this shirt because I'm desperately trying to keep my cool vibes. So last night, I decided to make three test batches, each with different ratios. I also decided to use different bowls because the other ones just weren't coming out. I guess now, 
it's time to flip them all and see which one, if any of them, work. <laughs> Gotta put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. It's your flipping if you're flying it. So we're starting with this one, one tablespoon of agar agar powder, eight cups of water, and one tablespoon of sugar. Ooh! <laughs> okay, that was really satisfying actually. It just like, kind of fell out of the bowl. It's super delicate, but it's holding its shape, which is really good. These both have less agar to water. I'm still gonna flip them, but I'm pretty positive that they are going to fall apart. I don't have to do this. Okay. Oh, yeah, sh I just really wanted to see what would happen. Honestly, I'm pretty happy. I think we still have one that's promising. If we up this ratio just a little bit, we'll have our rainbow cake. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay. This is it. This is it. I hope this is it, because I don't want to do this again. It's important to actually dissolve your agar powder in cold water first, which is Something I wish I knew before. <laughs> now we're gonna be dissolving our agar in cold water with the sugar, and then we're going to transfer it to heat and bring that to a simmer. Not for too long, just a couple of minutes. If you boil it or leave it on the heat for too long, it will deactivate the agent. Bring it to a simmer, we're gonna get a simmer. Okay, stop, two minutes. Taking this off the heat, woo. I wish I made a different noise than that, but I couldn't think of anything to say. <laughs> that was a better noise. Oh God, that was a little messy. I'm going to very carefully try to get this to the fridge. <laughs> Why did we do this so far from the fridge? <laughs> this is like the opposite of track and field. <laughs> like, woo! <laughs> that was honestly the hardest part of this whole thing. <laughs> Actually, no it wasn't. <laughs> is this day five? This is day five. Hmm. How did we get here? <laughs> so I've let my raindrop cake chill overnight. But before I even flip it, which I am terrified to do, I'm gonna make my brown sugar syrup. So all it takes is two cups of brown sugar and one cup of water. We're doing a lot of dissolving in this process. All it is is dissolving. Now I'm just gonna let it cool down and it will thicken up, which is the beauty of a syrup. Okay, we've made it. It is time to flip this thing. I am really, 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 really nervous. I should have gone pee before this. It literally looks like water in here. Just so you know, go for it. Oh my God, I'm shaking, okay. We've got some rain. I'm gonna put this soybean flour around the edge. Looks super good, it's like rustic. <laughs> I did it! I did it! I did it! I have to say, the toppings really do make this. You get the sweetness from the syrup we made and then the roasted soybean flour kind of gives it a nuttiness. And it's also super refreshing, so. A great summer dessert. <laughs> Wet. <laughs> <laughs>